So let's talk about uh, push and uh, web sockets. At process one, we, we do instant notification and uh, we have a problem with web. So uh, we, we have the, a lot of idea and uh, one time we said, okay, we'll do push on the web. Oh. Frankly, as a server developer, I don't really like HTTP uh, web and all around this protocol. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, a few years ago, uh, web sockets appear at last. And uh, this is all what I will uh, talk to you about today. When you want to, uh, to push some information to your client over HTTP, it's very, uh, not convenient because uh, each time the server have a data for your client, your client have to ask, do you have something for me? No. Do you have something for me? No, no, not yet. Do you have something for me? Yes, here is the data. This is absolutely not efficient. This is horrible. And uh, it also costs network and power. So. Uh, if you want to do that on a, on a, on a device like phone, it's a, it's a real pain. And also it produces queuing of the message of the data on the server. The problem is that at times the server got the data for the client, the server has to wait for the client to ask for the data so the server can deliver it. Our problem is to find a, a very simple and universal solution. Something that just work and something that is not complex. So hopefully WebSockets appears. Uh, it works on a simple TCP connection. So from the application, it's almost like a normal socket. So it's full duplex. And it starts to becoming interesting when we do some server client interaction. Uh, it works in almost all browser. Yeah, uh, I know Safari, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, but I, I guess many other uh, browsers support uh, the WebSocket now. It's also able to, uh, to work over TLS. And uh, it allows you to, to send anything you want. So it can be uh, UTF-8 string, it can be some JSON structure, it can be some binary blobs, whatever you want. So uh, it's very flexible to use WebSocket. It appears to be the solution for what we want. It's uh, real-time sending notification over the web. <coughs> so let's summarize. Before, with HTTP, you have to ask the server if the server uh, has the data for you, and the server replies, yes, no. And now with WebSocket, you can have some events in both sides, server and client side. As it was duplex, uh, also the event can uh, appear at the same time. It's, it's not a problem uh, of everything is, as you, you can develop an asynchronous service on top of WebSocket. And uh, WebSocket will allow you to, uh, to work with that without any problems. So now that we have the, the transport, we, we needed a, a very simple messaging uh, protocol. PubNub have done a, a very good job on the web. You have uh, a lot of uh, implementation for every language. <coughs> And uh, PubNubJet allows you to uh, subscribe and publish information to, to uh, channels. So it's a very simple uh, way to uh, aggregate information and push it to some clients. So as I said, you have implementations in tons of language. It's very easy to use. And um, if you want to... Uh, to push some information to a pool of users. You, the users just have to subscribe to a given channel. You just publish to that channel and all subscribed users 
got the information. So, well, let's test PubNub on WebSocket. Uh, for this, I don't need to talk about more. Uh, please, some of you open the, the URL I listed here, and uh, we'll try with the first one. The first one is a, a paint board. Uh, it uses WebSocket, and uh, it uses very simple PubNub message over the WebSocket. So uh, you can write, you can uh, draw something all at the same time. I think I have uh, one open here. Yep. So I, I, I take red, okay? We can do uh, the same kind of, uh, of test, of demo, with uh, plain text. And here you saw my message sent from uh, the PubNub Erlang library. Everything is live. Just a WebSocket connection and simple PubNub message. And I will finish with uh, uh, more integrated um, demonstration of uh, the PubNub and WebSocket thing. It's this, quite the same as the board. It ju I just use a, a different URL for that. So here we mixed this simple uh, demo with our push system. So we will push uh, a message. And hopefully, the phone will receive the notification and also the WebSocket page. So let's write a message. Let's tag it as uh, breaking news and send the push. So now, okay, I got uh, the message. Hello from CBM. And we should have received it, yes, on the WebSocket webpage. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Here you have uh, the push on the iPhone as well. Okay, that's it. Okay.